Hey guys! Today I am going to be reading Snail Mail by Samantha Berger, pictures by Julia Patton. Like always, before starting, I would like to give credit to the people who published and created this book. Now, let's get on to the story. A long, long time ago, but really not that long before email and texting, clicking and sending, mail was delivered in a much different way, a much slower way. It was called snail mail. Many suspected it was called snail mail because snails delivered it. Snails like Dale Snail, Gale Snail, Colonel McHale Snail, and Umberto. Although it took much longer, everyone agreed that some things were just a little more special when they were delivered by snail mail. Things like birthday cards, notes to Santa, postcards, and love letters. One such letter was made by a girl who loved a boy. It was a card made with her own hands, written in her own handwriting, and sealed with her own kiss. It even smelled a little bit like her. It had to be delivered by snail mail. The letter had a long, long way to go. It would start on one side of the country where the girl lived and would travel across to the other side where the boy lived. It was a very big journey, especially for a snail. The girl lived in Santa Monica and the boy lived in New York. They knew it would be a challenge. They knew there were many risks. But when they saw the girl's face as she mailed her letter, they knew they had to try. Dale Snail looked determined. Gale Snail looked ready. Umberto looked like he had been working out. Snails, take your places, said Colonel McHale Snail. The four snails each slithered underneath a corner of the envelope and carefully lifted it up. Barely. On your marks, get set, go, commanded Colonel McHale Snail. It was a slow-mo go. Slowly, 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 they inched forward. Remember the snail mail promise, said the colonel. Neither rain nor snow nor heat nor hail will stop a snail from bringing the mail. They started their journey by crossing the desert. There was bright golden light in the day and a sea of silver stars at night. There were spiky prickly plants and giant building block rocks. The envelope kept them shaded from the hot sun and protected them from all kinds of curious creatures. Steadily, they made their way through Red Rock Canyons with dripping sandcastles and rippling dunes. And though they were very tired and very thirsty, the whole time they chanted their snail mail motto. Neither snow nor rain nor heat nor hail will stop a snail from bringing the mail. Next, they trekked over vast mountains and through thick pine groves, past shimmering cool lakes and sweet green meadows, and every day they saw a rainbow, sometimes even a double rainbow. The sunsets here were so breathtaking. Even Colonel McHale had tears in his eyes, but he insisted it was only allergies. And even though their progress was very slow, there was something special about slowing down to look around and notice what an amazing place the country was. They wound their way through cornfields and crossed flat flatlands. They used the envelope to surf on the wind and to catch rides with the sparrows. Sometimes it poured. Sometimes it blizzarded. Sometimes it got blazing hot. Sometimes it pelted ice. Sometimes it did all of those things in one day. But the snails were determined to deliver the mail. And finally, in a giant city down a long, narrow street filled with numbers and letters and sounds and smells and honking and beeping, the snail mail found the boy. The boy opened the envelope and saw the girl's letter. He saw it was made with her own hands, written in her own handwriting, and sealed with her own kiss. It even smelled a little bit like her. When the snail saw the boy's face as he opened the letter, they knew their journey was worth it. 
and there was also a letter waiting for them. It was from the United States Snail Mail Office. It was written in fancy letters and sealed with a shiny seal. It even smelled official. Sniff. Inside, they found a letter congratulating them and four golden medals for good service. It was something they could have only gotten through snail mail. Neither snow nor rain nor heat nor hail could stop those snails from bringing the mail. So they headed home to tell their tale. Only not slowly at all because snail mail finally got an airplane. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed Snail Mail by Samantha Berger, pictures by Julia Patton. If you did, make sure to go check out some of the other books we have read on our channel. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at hospitalhappiness with three S's at gmail.com. Have a happy day!